Hi everyone, so today I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be working on, but uh, like I said, I've been kind of rearranging things, picking some things up, and moving them other places, and all these different things. But I came across a few things that I ordered uh, from HSN that I haven't uh, tried out yet, so um, I'll link whatever's available in the description box. Those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So thank you for using those if you would like. Um, you know, I have this Anna Griffin. 3D Victorian Slimline Concentric Frame Dies. They are lovely. Have not played with them yet. I don't think these are particularly Christmassy. They're just some dies that I had. And then um, the Madonna and Child die set. And also this one here. So what's funny is I have these in a stack. I still have a few other like Christmassy things I want to get to that are Anna Griffin. And um, this one says the Perfect Present Easel dies, which seem to be very easy. I think they're going to be. If I use this today, I'm going to pair it with, you know, stickers that I have in my stash already. But right under that, I have this uh, festive foiled card mega buy from uh, Hungry Dory Crafts. And I thought, ooh, this might be pretty together. Maybe something here and some of that paper. I don't know. So why don't we try it out? Because there are a lot of pretty papers in here. I'm sure I can pair them with like some matte gold or shiny gold paper and stickers and I think it'd be great. I do have this um, cute paper pack also. This one's a little bit different, a little more playful, more uh, for like children. Uh, but I think, in my mind, why not play with these right now? since I can pretty much just get going on it. <laughs> and then um, we'll uh, try out some of the other ones later. I know I have the little post office box. Do you guys remember that one? It's a Anna Griffin vignette that has like a little mailbox and some other cute like Christmassy things. So I want to get to that one too. Oh, and I think I even have like a stacked gift set. It's like a slimline. I don't know. So yeah, lots to get to. But let's, um, let me clear this stuff away. I'll think about what I want to do and we'll okay, get started. So before we get too far, you know, um, one of my pet peeves with the older easel sets with Anna Griffin are that you have this base one and then you have this piece that goes on top, right? So this makes your easel. But when you go to layer this after this is folded and you put this on top, you see the shape of this one. So whatever paper, if it's the backside, because obviously you're going to fold the paper over, you're going to see it. It usually stuck out a little bit. So what we would do here and, uh, you know, I would do is make a shaped card from this one and just ignore this other easel part and make my own easel base from this guy so that this layer is on top and it looks really pretty and there's no weird edge that you're gonna see and um, so right now I was gonna make my paper selections and I was like oh okay well I really really like this paper on top the snowflake but I thought, okay I'm gonna fold it over and the back side is probably white and you're gonna see it but I don't know why it occurred to me to look at this because I'm like Maybe it's just, you know, looking at it. Does this not look smaller than this base piece? This guy here? <laughs> it looks smaller. So, I went to measure it, you guys, and I'm thinking Anna Griffin must have listened to us because when I measured it, if you're looking at this top part, it is like four and three quarters inches wide. And when this folds over, I was like, let me see. I measured it, and it's less than four and a half inches wide, you guys. <gasps> I think she has worked that out because it drives me nuts and I always hear from you from you guys even like the easel truck or a little car that I had recently done I went ahead and made my own it just drives me nuts and um, I'm sure she heard it from you guys too because for them to change that up at least that's what it looks like so let me see because then this guy when this is folded over this guy's gonna go on top and I'm assuming that I mean it's going to cover it right that's what it looks like I would be super happy with that so here you know you're still gonna have the background of your card showing that's fine if it's this pretty paper but once you folded it over hopefully oh there goes my lunch um you understand what I'm saying I know if you're new or maybe not familiar with her dies it might not make any sense and you're like okay whatever but um it looks like we're gonna be in the clear guys so that's awesome so that's gonna help me make my paper choices and I was even looking at this, these images I'm like unless they cut it down there's no way that it looks that nice you know that this thing you won't see it in the background and then that's kind of what made me even look at these guys and uh, make sure so yeah it looks like this is a little bit smaller which is all we wanted that's all we wanted <laughs> that's awesome so I'm super happy to see that with this hopefully that's what they'll do going forward because it drove me nuts when you saw that little edge around the outside of your card just sort of like from here up or whatever um you know whatever the portion was that was touching crazy okay so let me make some paper selections and i'll be right back so um i think what i'll do is since i really like this paper on top it's kind of grayish white silvery i don't know we'll use this one and then i'm probably gonna grab like colors that are like blue and things i mean there's lots of papers in here obviously i just grabbed this one on top because i don't know i just think that was pretty but there's lots of pretty papers in here, or there are. Um, okay, so I'll take this one out. 
yeah, I mean, there's lots of varied papers in this package, as you can see. Even this darker blue one would be really pretty. Oh, look at this one. Okay. And then I just grabbed a stack of Anna Griffin papers I have. Like, this is from, like, the Halloween kind of fall colors. But, I mean, the blue in there is really lovely. I think in this Christmas one, though, or holiday one, I suppose, there should be, like, some blue and silver. So I recall that. <laughs> Yes, so this hopefully that'll work. And then maybe some silver for different accents. Um, is the other blue over here darker? No, it's the same. It's the same blue, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I might look for like a metallic blue, like a darker one or something, because in my mind, what I'm thinking is this will be the base piece. You know, for the easel. So I'll run that through. We'll have that. And then, um, oh, we still need a background piece. Is white boring? Why would it be boring, wouldn't it? Um, I'll cut this from, hopefully I'll have like a darker metallic blue is what I'm hoping. So I'll cut this from a darker metallic blue. Hopefully I'll find something like that. And then with this, I think, okay. <laughs> As you're pulling it up, be careful because this piece wants to stay back. It's one piece, but it's very dainty in the center here, this area. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to cut this from the silver. I don't know. I'm just making things up. So hopefully a dark blue in the background. We'll cut this all from the silver, and then I'm going to cut this off and have like a lid that's a different color. So let's go the light blue with the lid. And then I'll probably do a dark blue with this bow again or something. So I'll just need this portion. And again, whatever you know, machine you have that will do your cutting, your cutting. <laughs> I was gonna say cut and embossing, and I said cutting um, would be great, right? So run that through whatever machine helps you do that. Does this fit this way? No, never does. Never, never can save enough paper on these guys. So that's okay. I'll just cut it like this. And like I said, I'll look for a blue metallic and hopefully I have something like that. I'm sure I have something like that from like Tonic. And I'll be right back. I just ran that little bit because I'm going to cut this away anyway. So we're going to cut that off. And we just want this top part so it has like a different color lid. Oh, is that it guys? I went ahead and cut out this little bit of the stopper because I'll probably use that today. And then the bow because I was going to use that same darker blue. It's not a royal blue, but it's, a, it's darker than the other blue that I pulled out. So I think it'll be fun is not like what we're doing here. Okay, let's put this one away. And this one. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Okay, here's our card base. And um, so all you can do is close that guy up. And it is smaller, yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. And the reason I even talk about that or bring it up is because I know sometimes people are like, oh, I always notice that she does this, so that's why I don't buy those dies anymore or this or that. So hopefully this is something that you'll see as an improvement and, you know, if you want to get these easel cards without having to do like some fussy cutting or some different changes like we used to do, then I hope she continues doing that because that makes it so much better, at least for me. I like that. This is that background piece and um, basically, okay, so having said all the things I did say, it is awkward that this <laughs> isn't cut out, but I'm not going to complain about that too much. It does show here that that's not there, which is interesting. Um, what is happening here? <laughs> Let's see, place it there. I was say maybe I'm placing it too low, but that's not possible because if I go up here, I mean, you have all this. Ay, ay, ay. So, okay, that doesn't bother me as much. It's not great. It's not wonderful, but what is happening here? That's weird, huh? I'm like, am I doing something wrong? After having said all these glorious things about this, look, I mean, that's basically it, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, mm, it needs to be a little higher up. About this one for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it down. I mean, what are you gonna do? Obviously, it doesn't show it here because it's up, you know, the easel. But it would have had that weird spot in the back. Why? Why? I don't know. Oh well, we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> That's okay. That's better than what we've seen in the past, but didn't quite get the mark. Now, if you really wanted to, you could definitely run probably the bow die through and it'll kind of cut away some of this, you know, uh, whereas that you think it should be. But uh, for now, I'm going to place this like here and I'm going to get 
closer up there I want that white this to be covered up that little shoulder because that bothers me more than anything and we'll leave that there so it's the same height it should be seven inches I suppose from here to there let's see sorry if my camera's freaking out I'm trying to keep my hand in the way there so that it'll yeah it's it's just under seven inches um, you know I suppose if you want to bring it up further you could let's see where we're we at let's see if we're here and I can bring it up to here that doesn't really do much more for you but it does kind of clean that up that's okay it's better than this whole area you know oopsie we are not glued together yet <laughs> So I'm going to hold that for a little bit longer, guys, before I show you what that looks like, and I'll be right back. Well, that's kind of holding down. I think it's getting there. Um, maybe we'll put something on top. It's a little more substantial. Um, this guy. I'm just going to take this and cut it off. Now, you can bring this to your guillotine or to a trimmer if you're... But I'm just going to go for it. So let's take this right along the edge and just try to cut that in a straight manner <laughs> right there maybe I would have left a little more paper here if I known where it was going to cut there and then over here in the other direction I might get the other one a little bit closer I was trying to keep it give a little bit more here but there you go there's a lid that is free standing and then we'll have this guy up here I do like that this came with tags it has a separate bow and all those things so let that set up oh I was also going to run this through since I ran that one through blue I want to bring some more silver back into the mix and then I was thinking I don't know that I even have silver and blue like stickers that are Anna or anything most most of the time everything's like very traditionally Christmas <laughs> but I'll run this through some silver paper that I still have like here all right just to bring a little silver back and I'll be right back. In the meantime, I chose, or I went and got some things out of my stash here to use. So I have this uh, holiday stickers and sentiments. I mean, I have tons of these things. Um, Christmas wreath stickers and sentiments. That's really what I'm looking for is sentiments that would coordinate better. And this one has, this one has like a silver, even though it has the gold. I thought that'd be lovely. Maybe we'll incorporate some of these other items. I don't know. We will see. But for now, what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to think if I'm just going to glue that straight down and pop this up. I think that's what I'll do. So I'll glue this one straight down onto my base. And I suppose if you wanted to tuck things back in here to cover up that white or whatever it is that's going to be showing, whatever you choose to use, you can definitely do that. Uh, I'm just going to get this on here. I don't really want this squeezing out everywhere, but I do want it to stay. So let's just kind of do some of this, some of this, <laughs> some of that. And let's center this guy on here, just inside. And then I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of my lid, and I'll be back. So I'm just going to pop this guy on here, and it has some dimensional. This is kind of a taller dimensional that I would want to use today, but I just went with that. And that looks nice. Okay. And then I think this guy, we can just stick that down, but let's put some dimension under here. So this will be flat and then this out a little bit. I think that'd be cute. So let me get some dimensionals in here and so I'll put dimensionals back. here now. Really, if you want to, you can even double them up, like maybe at the end here so that it's even higher, you know, or glue it back down or give it some rounding, you know, different ways to make this fun. Put some glue in here. So that part is touching. I'll make sure that part's touching before I move on. There we go. And then those are dimensional, so they'll just stick down. I'm going to hold that till it's set, and I'll be right back. Pretty good there. So this guy, again, dimensionals, glue down, whatever it is you want. So I'm going to put dimensionals here. Sometimes I like to put um, other decorations under here, like flowers or whatever it is that we might have. So you know, might want to think about that before you completely stick these things together. Uh, I think that has a little bit of something there. Let's see. Very small area around it. And that's going to be our piece that goes here. And I am kind of speeding this up because i got to go pick up my daughter from school. And what I'm going to do when I get back is just put decoration, you know, stickers, things, whatever it is, on this. So I just want to show you the main piece, what that might look like. Obviously, it's going to be whatever you come up with. Um... Let me see. I want to put that kind of straight. Is that straight? Does it look straight? It looks pretty straight right there. So I'm going to let that set up, and that's going to hold our easel open. But look how pretty. I love the colors. It's lovely. 
Look at that. And then, yeah, when I come back, I'm just going to go through these things. And like I said, I'll probably use this set to find a sentiment. Oh, look at this one. even has like a light blue kind of, it's more minty, but the gray on this one, you know, or whatever it is. I mean, this one works too. Happiest holiday. Oh, I like that. So, uh, I'll see. And then this has wreaths in it, which I don't think I'm going to do a wreath, but we have these guys. And then the set also has little tags. How cute are those? This is also a tag. It has a little hole here. This one has a hole there. Cute ways to play that up. So I will come back and again, music, make some selections and I'll be right back. So, um, yeah, I went and picked up my daughter and just finished this up and I permitted myself to put other colors on just the blue and the silver and things because they're gifts. So I thought I'd give some of the different colors. Um, I know some people pick one colorway and that's what they do, right? But uh, I think that's cute. With the happiest holidays, I love the way this looks. It works up really quickly. I mean, I did some extra things, but... You know, you don't have to do that. And then I had these Spellbinders um, sentiments, and I had this from All of Us, and it was like on gray with blue. I was like, oh, gonna use it. So I put that on there, and that is that. Signature card or just another piece of die cut, something that you can actually write on would be great for that. And there is our card. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll have the links in the description box. Of course, images are coming up, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.